The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Safina Insecticide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Bernard Tobin on the Soybean School today. Hey, catching up with Ken Curra from BASF. Hey, Ken, how's it going? Hey, it's going great. Beautiful day. Uh, the weather we all hope for oh. in September. Yeah, we need a little bit more for mm -hmm. sure. Hey, we're, we are here down at your, your Belmont uh, research farm. Mm -hmm. I want to talk uh, pre-harvest burn down on soybeans because this weather really is starting to speed up that crop. And, uh, you know, we're going to see some beans coming off before too long. What do we need to think about? Pre-harvest burn down. Yeah, for sure. We got to think about pre-harvest burn down because uh, you know, soybeans a little bit different than corn. The soybeans are loving this weather too, but they're also starting to shut down. They're they're getting into that uh, you know that period of photosensitivity is starting to induce that ripening and maturity. Uh, this this weather is moving them fast, and uh, yeah, it's time to start thinking about burning down some soybeans, whether it's to uh, to even up the crop and kill them off, or whether it's to actually handle weed escapes from from the uh, earlier season herbicide passes and, and try to clean the field that way, which is a harvest aid pass. Now we've got a lot of variability, mm -hmm. a lot of unevenness here. Yes. What do we need to do from that perspective? Yeah, so you can look at uh, what's very important, first of all, um, you know, there's a few layers to uh, to the decision tree in terms of how this pass is going to work. First and foremost, especially for uh, for conventional or IP soybean growers, talk to your receiver or who you have that contract with and verify whether or not you can use glyphosate in the tank mix. Glyphosate agronomically is a big help in the tank mix. Uh, glyphosate resistant weeds or not. Just a big help to have that systemic chemistry in the tank mix. So verify that with your receiver. And from there, you've got to look at uh, what is my proper timing for the product of choice to burn down. So pay attention to pre-harvest intervals. Uh, for instance, a product like Aragon LQ, which we provide three days in soybeans. If you add glyphosate to the tank, it turns into seven. So we need to pay attention to that detail and also the proper timing for the application when looking at the crop is also important. Ken, talk about, I guess, uh, weed control. Uh, what we're trying to do here as well is get good control of, mm. you know, broadleafs and annuals. What, uh, I guess, what are some of the challenges out here? What are the things we need to be looking at? Yeah, so so let's start with the actual timing of application, then we'll look at the weeds. Timing of application, uh, we're going to look at that soybean plant, and we're actually going to look at the pods. Uh, let's not fall in love with leaf drop stage right away. Let's look at the pods. We're looking for about 90% pod mm. color change. So the bottom pods, generally pretty far along starting to look like they're ready to thresh out top pods might have a little tinge of green in them yet but they're generally yellowing off and starting to senesce that will usually but not always correspond with about 80 percent leaf drop so you're actually you know with a product like aragon you're using it fairly late if you choose a different product you need to pay attention to the pre-harvest intervals in the actual crop stage that you're to best apply that at from there you look at weed spectrum what you're trying to do there you know some weeds we can actually talk about this fall burn down pass as a weed control pass. Uh, other weeds, we're talking more about desiccation. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you know, it's fairly easy to uh, to kill off, you know, even if it's a big tall red root pigweed, it's fairly lush and a good application at the right time with the right water volumes and good practices utilized. We could probably kill that big weed. We get into tall weeds like lamb's quarters and fleabane, they're woody, they're waxy, they're hard to get chemistry into, and that becomes more of a desiccant type application. If we get some kill, great, but at the end of the day we're looking at a desiccation type pass there and that's to mechanically assist the combine in terms of the harvest process right get it dried off get some of the juice and the green out of it and make it a little bit easier to handle uh, in the, mechanically through the harvest process um Ken, when I'm walking through my field this fall and I, you know, I'm seeing weed escapes, weed mm -hmm. challenges, you know, should I be thinking about what I did last spring? Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, that, that is just a good practice, period. You know, as any producer, right? We should be having a, a chat with our agronomist or the agronomy people that support our, our farm business and our crop production system. And, you know, what did I do well? What did, uh, you know, what is, is there something here I can tweak? Did the weather in the environment just go against me? And, and Lord knows, you know, this past spring, the weather in the environment certainly worked against a lot of acres and a lot of farmers right we that's been well chronicled but but yeah definitely have that discussion uh, do I need to look at some different herbicide chemistries next year do I maybe need to look at investing more in, in pre-applied herbicides and relying a little bit less on contact herbicides post you know all those little questions what can I do just a little bit better and and utilizing what you learn from this past year and also take a look um, if, if, if wheat's going in we need a clean field right yeah you know every high yield presentation start clean stay clean 
right? Uh, they talk about the critical weed free period and uh, yeah, every high yield presentation, every crop, weed included. And uh, you know, we've seen several top wheat grower panels at various meetings, the Southwest Ag Conference, etc. the last two winters. And uh, man, the majority of those growers, they talk about start clean, stay clean, and they'll use a product, whether it's in a, in a burn down or pre-harvest aid application, or just using some kind of herbicide like an Aragon LQ at seeding to start that field clean and get it clean through the through the fall months and into winter freeze up and dormancy and then just gives that crop a much better head start going into next spring and laying that high yield foundation for a wheat crop. Awesome. Um, Ken and starts in the next week or two with uh, pre-harvest burn down. Hey, thank you for the tips. Thanks hey, for the insight. No problem. Appreciate it. Awesome.